Do you know what really makes you fat? It's not as simple as you might think. Most people believe that gaining weight is all about a lack of willpower or simply eating too much. But in reality, it's far more complex. Weight gain isn't just about the calories that go in and the energy that goes out. It's a nuanced interplay of physiological and psychological factors, many of which are outside our conscious control. Let's start with the physiological factors. Our bodies are not just passive vessels that store excess energy as fat. They are complex biological machines that respond to a multitude of internal and external cues. These cues trigger hormonal responses that can increase or decrease our appetite, alter our metabolism, and even dictate where and how we store fat. For instance, did you know that getting less than seven to eight hours of sleep a night can disrupt these hormonal signals leading to increased hunger and weight gain? Then there are the psychological factors. We don't always eat because we're physically hungry. Sometimes we eat to soothe our emotions or stave off boredom. This is called emotional eating, and it can be a major contributor to weight gain. High stress levels can also drive us to seek out high calorie comfort foods, leading to what is often referred to as stress eating. We also live in an environment that is constantly nudging us towards unhealthy choices, calorie packed drinks, oversized portions, processed foods loaded with empty calories and an increasingly sedentary lifestyle all conspire to make us heavier. And let's not forget about boredom eating. Eating out of sheer boredom can lead to unnecessary calorie consumption and is often overlooked as a significant contributor to weight gain. But here's the good news. By understanding these factors, we can start to take control. We can learn to listen to our bodies, to differentiate between physical hunger and emotional hunger, to make healthier food and drink choices, and to move more. We can learn to manage our weight in a sustainable way, without resorting to drastic diets or punishing exercise regimes. Understanding these factors can help us take effective steps towards weight management. Did you know that lack of sleep can lead to weight gain? This may sound surprising, but it's backed by solid science. When we don't get enough shut-eye, our bodies produce more ghrelin, a hormone that signals hunger and less leptin, the hormone that tells us we're full. This hormonal imbalance can lead to overeating and, you guessed it, weight gain. But the story doesn't end there. Insufficient sleep also affects how our bodies process food. A well-rested body is more efficient at regulating blood sugar levels and metabolism, both of which play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy weight. The takeaway here is simple. Quality sleep matters. Aiming for seven to eight hours of sleep each night can help regulate these critical hunger hormones and keep your metabolism running smoothly. So, make sure you're getting your Z's. Your waistline will thank you. Ever found yourself reaching for a tub of ice cream after a rough day? It's more common than you think, and it's called emotional eating. This hidden enemy can sneak up on us in times of stress, grief, or even simple boredom. When we're feeling low, our bodies naturally crave comfort, and often that comfort comes in the form of high calorie foods. Think about it. How many times have you gone for a salad when you're upset? Exactly. More likely it's the chips, the sweets, the fast food that call to us. These foods do more than just fill our stomachs. They provide a temporary relief from negative emotions, creating a cycle that's hard to break. Each time we give in, we reinforce the habit, and over time, these extra calories add up, contributing to weight gain. But don't despair. Recognizing this pattern is the first step. Learning to manage stress and emotions is key to breaking the cycle of emotional eating. Think you're doing well by skipping dessert? What about that can of soda you had with lunch? Beverages can be a sneaky source of calories in our diets, often overlooked in our weight loss efforts. That morning latte? It's packed with as many calories as a small meal. And the sports drink you gulp down after a workout? It might contain more sugar than you just burned off. Even fruit juices, while seemingly healthy, can be loaded with sugars and calories. These liquid calories can add up quickly, sabotaging your efforts to maintain a healthy weight. Unlike solid food, they don't make us feel full, so we end up consuming more calories than we realize. So, what's the solution? Try swapping out sugary beverages for healthier alternatives. Opt for water, herbal teas, or even infusions with fresh fruits. And remember to read labels when buying packaged drinks. Remember, not all calories are created equal, especially when they come from sugary drinks. Spend most of your day sitting, you might be setting yourself up for weight gain.
Now, we're not just talking about the occasional couch potato session. We're discussing a lifestyle trend that's becoming all too common in our digital age, a sedentary lifestyle. The term sedentary refers to a type of lifestyle where an individual does not receive regular amounts of physical activity. Think about it, sitting at your desk for work, lounging on the couch, watching TV, even sitting during your commute. All these contribute to a sedentary lifestyle, but why is this an issue? Well, leading a sedentary lifestyle slows down your metabolism. Your metabolism is like an engine that burns the calories you consume. When you're active, your metabolism revs up and burns more calories. But when you're sedentary, your metabolism slows down, burning fewer calories, which can lead to weight gain. Moreover, a sedentary lifestyle can lead to muscle loss. When we don't use our muscles, they start to atrophy or break down. This muscle loss can further slow down your metabolism as muscles burn more calories at rest than fat does. Now, don't despair. No one is saying you need to run a marathon or hit the gym for hours every day. The key is to incorporate more movement into your daily life. This could be as simple as taking the stairs instead of the elevator, walking to the store instead of driving, or doing some light exercises during your TV time. Even standing while you work can make a difference. And remember, it's not about making massive changes all at once. It's about making small, sustainable changes that can lead to big results over time. You might start by setting a timer to remind yourself to stand up and stretch every hour. Or perhaps you could try walking meetings instead of sitting ones. The point is, every bit of movement counts. Your body is designed to move, so let it do what it was made to do. Don't let a sedentary lifestyle keep you stuck on the scale. Remember, every bit of movement counts, so get up and get moving. Who doesn't love the convenience of a ready-to-eat meal? Processed foods have become a staple in many households due to their convenience and long shelf life. However, these foods are often high in empty calories and low in nutrition, causing us to consume more than we need without getting the necessary nutrients our bodies crave. Imagine a bag of chips. We've all been there, reaching into the bag for just one more, and before we know it, we've eaten the whole thing. This is a classic example of how processed foods can lead to overeating. They're designed to be hyperpalatable, meaning they're loaded with sugars, fats, and salts that our brains find irresistible. But these foods aren't satisfying in the long run, leaving us hungry again soon after we've eaten. Now let's talk about portion sizes. Over the past few decades, portion sizes have grown significantly. When we're served more, we tend to eat more, often without even realizing it. This distortion of what we perceive as a normal serving size can lead to excessive calorie consumption and ultimately weight gain. So, what's the solution? It's simple, really. Prioritize whole, unprocessed foods over convenience items. Whole foods like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains are packed with the nutrients our bodies need and help us feel fuller longer. And when it comes to portion control, a useful trick is to use smaller plates and bowls. This can help trick our brains into thinking we're eating more than we actually are, helping us to feel satisfied with less. Remember, it's not about depriving ourselves or following a strict diet. It's about making mindful choices that nourish our bodies and support our health. And that doesn't mean you can't ever enjoy your favorite processed foods. It's all about balance and moderation. So next time you reach for that ready meal, consider its nutritional value and portion size. Make every bite count towards your health and well-being. So, what's the secret to managing your weight? It's understanding what really makes you fat. Let's take a minute to recap what we've discovered today. Insufficient sleep can lead to an increase in hunger hormones, causing you to overeat. Stress and emotions can also drive us to high-calorie comfort foods. Be wary of sugary beverages as they contribute hidden calories that can sabotage your weight loss journey. Don't forget that a sedentary lifestyle promotes fat gain. Small changes in your daily routine can make a big difference. Be mindful of your eating habits, differentiate between physical hunger and boredom, and engage in activities rather than snacking mindlessly. Choose whole, unprocessed foods over convenience items to improve nutrition and feel fuller longer. And finally, be conscious of portion sizes to avoid overeating. Remember, weight management isn't about drastic restrictions, it's about understanding your body and making sustainable lifestyle changes.